Coming up on the Glow Sports Corner, the women's soccer team wins at home and raises awareness. Rustin Nice comes down to the studio to talk with Zachariah Begley. And Vincent Kabunja joins the studio to talk more about his final year as a Maple Leaf. All that coming up on the Glow Sports Corner. Welcome back to another episode of the Glow Sports Corner. I'm Benjamin Cotton. And last year, the Goshen College women's soccer team held the first annual Go for the Go match to raise awareness for the pediatric cancer. The team held this event again last year, and they did it over the weekend, and also won two years in a row. I had the chance to cover the team, and here's more on the story. The Goshen College women's soccer team hosted Indiana Tech in a Go for the Goal game. The Maple Leafs switched from their traditional purple kits to yellow to represent pediatric cancer. Junior four Kayla Shaw spoke about why spreading awareness is important. Um, I think representing the pediatric cancer as a Goshen College student means a lot because me and a lot of the team members have had a lot of family members who have been affected by cancer and so I think giving back to the community, the people who are struggling and let alone the kids, letting them know they're not struggling on their own and we're here helping them fight their battles with them, I think it just brings a lot of awareness and it, it makes us feel good about bringing the awareness. GC assistant Juliana Chop shares both player and coaching experiences on the pitch. I've been here as a player and coming back and having the opportunity to be here as a coach is it's very special for me because I know what the feeling is. I know what it's like to win games like this in, in a big crowd. Playing here, I don't remember seeing a crowd like that. And making those big events, it's very important for us so we can bring the community and the community seeing that we're thinking about others and trying to help others with this fundraiser, which is very important for us to knowing that a lot of our players and knowing families having been there with cancer and just to let them know that they're not alone, that we're here to support them and to help provide for them. I think it's very important for us as, as a team. The crossbar challenge was a part of the donation project as students paid to take a shot at the crossbar. And the Maple Leafs also provided free root beer to the fans to draw more awareness. Um, bringing the free root beer to the game, we were just trying to get more of a big crowd. The bigger the crowd, the more awareness we can spread to the people here for, about pediatric cancer and raise awareness for them. So our goal is to raise a thousand. Last year was 500 and we got it. And this year is a thousand and I haven't looked it up where it is now, but I think we will be pretty close. Maple Leafs also defend a home pitch for the overtime victory to cap off the night. Um, it felt great. It feels great to win on a big night like this when there's a big crowd like there was tonight. It feels great and it's the it's what we were expecting. The next game for the Maple Leafs will be on the road versus rival Bethel University. For Glow Sports, I'm Benjamin Cotton. The team is currently 5-2 on the year as they enter conference play on Wednesday. The Maple Leafs will be taking on Bethel University this Wednesday on the road. When we come back, Zachariah Beckley will talk with Rustin Nice about the cross-country team's performance this season. That's next on the Glow Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Zachariah Begley, and to my left is Rustin Nice, head coach for both the men and women's Goshen College cross country teams. Coach, thank you for joining me in the studio. So, what did you do this off season to prepare your teams for this season? If, yeah. Sure. So over the summer, we we do a lot of base training. So when we come into the season, we have a good idea and a good base of of to build on for our interval workout and our 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 work for the season. So this summer we prepared the men's team specifically for a strong start to the season because we knew that would be important for us. 
And for women, growth is important. And so we prepared by doing a lot of base work over the summer so that women had had some growth points during the season. So they're, they're going to progress through the season pretty nicely, I think. Did you have any specific goals for the teams, like run this many miles a week or run this many miles by the, sum, by the end of the summer? Not specific numeric goals. Then people get focused on hitting a certain number and they don't listen to how their body feels. And I don't want them to go too few miles or too many miles based off of how they're feeling. So it's more communicating and checking in so that we can make decisions together so that um, we're making educated choices based off of what in each individual needs. Yeah. So going now that you're in season, is there mm -hmm. anything you do differently in practice to sort of focus on uh, the season to maintain where you're at as well as mm -hmm. to avoid uh, fatiguing too early? Sure. So when you add intensity, we take away some of the mileage um, because we don't want to um, burn both ends of the candle, right, and get injured because we're not very good when we're just sitting out. So when we, when we interval train, we decrease mileage just a little bit. We add plyos. We had some core work, we had some weight work, and we had specific intervals to get us ready. And then there's mental prep that goes into it. Like each day, each, each workout, or each time we're, we're doing something, we think about why we're doing what we're doing and try to get the most out of it. So the men are ranked 17th in the country, which mm -hmm. is the highest it's been in a few years. Uh, sure. Five years ago, they made it to nationals as a mm -hmm. team. What are you emphasizing for them specifically so they can work well and possibly <laughs> mm -hmm. make it back to nationals? Uh, I try to remind them that they really haven't done anything yet. Preseason and in-season rankings don't mean a lot when we're trying to make nationals in November. And so in September, it doesn't mean that we've made it and we need to keep working. Uh, we got beat by a team in our last meet that we beat the first meet. So people are getting better. We need to continue to get better. Um, so 17 is great for right now. We're happy with that. It kind of validates the work that we've done, but it certainly isn't the end of the season, and we need to keep working to make sure that this is not the peak of our season, and we're in Vancouver in November, and that's where we want to be. So going into the rest of the year, what are sort of your goals for both sides, both the men and women, as mm -hmm. they go into the rest of the year? Um, for the men is to continue to do the work and continue to invest in themselves and in their training. Um, doing the little things right, um, recovery, adapting, um, eating, sleeping, all those things are really important when they're trying to achieve the level of things they're trying to achieve. So not getting tired of doing all the little things and doing them well, slowing their paces down a little bit in their heads so that they can focus on what they need to get done and not rush through things. And for the women, it's continuing to believe in themselves and the growth and the development. From where they were last year, they took a, a um, average of one minute off per woman for the top five from their peak last year to where they're at now. And I think they've got a lot more left, but they need to continue to reinvest in that in practice and the small things as well. And so there's going to be a large drop in time for the women too, as long as they keep training consistently, um, keep healthy and keep doing, again, those little things that matter quite a bit. Coach, thank you again for joining us today. When we come back, I will talk with senior runner Vincent Kabunja coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real-world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Back here on the Globe Sports Corner, I'm Zachariah Begley. With me is senior runner Vincent Kabunja. Vincent, how are you doing today? I'm doing good today. So it's your final season here as a Maple Leaf. What did you do to prepare for the season? Um, my coach had us like have like our preseason training. So over the summer, we were just building on mileage, and then on our preseason, we just did our, a little bit of workout so that prepared us in running well. So was there anything in particular you did personally to prepare for the season? Ah. Uh, I went back home, so I trained in altitude for a little bit. So I would say that was like a great impact on my body, training on altitude, because it kind of helps you in improving your times. So did you have any goals coming into the season? Yes. My goals for the season because was this is my last year. I want to like 
win conference and I want to be our American in national. So I knew my, like, I had to put extra effort. So I have been training every like so much like with effort. So I knew like my goal was just like to achieve my best. Were there any, have your goals changed as the season has progressed? Yeah, my goal changes every time when I look at on other schools, like when they run well and they run fast time. So I have to change my goal and talk to my coach. I'm like, what should I do next? So I have to readjust my goals and try to work on something different. So you uh, started the season pretty well. You finished 15th at the Knights Invitational, and then you just finished first at the GRCC yeah, Greater correct. Invitational. Yes. So what do you do to prepare for meets like the day of? Oh, like, so the day before the meet, it's just like a normal day for me. So what I do is like, I like soccer so much, so I watch soccer highlight a lot, and then it kind of like, it prepares my mind. And then like, I kind of like sleep early. And then that day, like if I have homework, I'm not gonna do it on that day because I don't need anything on my mind to stress me out. So I kind of like stay stress free, just like having my own time recovering and get ready for my meet. So you're a cross country runner, but you also run track in the spring. Is there any way that you take cross country into track? Is there a crossover? Uh, I would say like cross country, if you run well in cross country, you're gonna have a good season in track because in track, all you do, all you do is just training on speed work and just being healthy. When we come back, Benjamin Cotton will have your Maple Leafs in action here on the Globe Sports Corner. I work for the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. Let's have a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. Women's volleyball will be at home on Wednesday as they take on fourth ranked Indiana Wesleyan University. That match begins at 7 o'clock. And this Friday, they'll travel to Spring Arbor University to face off against the Cougars at 7. Then they'll make a trip back home as they host Taylor University with the first serve beginning at 3 o'clock. For men's soccer, they'll be taking on Bethel University at home on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Then the team will be hitting the road on Saturday as they'll go head-to-head -head versus Grace College. And that match begins at 7 o'clock also. For women's soccer, they'll be on the road Wednesday squaring off against the Bethel Pilots starting at 7 o'clock. The team will also be at home on Saturday taking on Grace College Lancers. Kickoff will start at 7.30. And finally, the men's and women's tennis teams will be on the road Thursday traveling to Spring Arbor to take on the Cougars. The matches will start at 4 o'clock and the men's tennis team will be at home on Friday against Roosevelt. That match will begin at 4 o'clock p.m. And finally, thank you for tuning in to Glow Sports Corner. Be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe, and check out our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on The Globe Sports Corner.